Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV here with my good friend Cody Wilson of Defense Distributed. We have a new exciting iteration of the Ghost Gunner that I literally know virtually nothing about. You're gonna learn today. You're okay. gonna learn. You're gonna learn with Teach me. America. You know? Yeah, yeah. And what I hope to show is wider than America today. All right. Finally, something that uh, people in Canada and Europe can do uh, with the Ghost Gunner as well. Explain. Okay. Well, today we're gonna show the Ghost Gunner 3S. We call it S for a number of reasons, but. Uh, we, it's not quite special. the four. It's super, it's special, it's speed, it's steel, but really it, it coalesces around the idea of steel, doing the work with, with steel. For a couple of years now, we've been delivering ghost gunners to the public that can do steel work, but we've been running uh, basically the, the spindle speed as fast as possible. It's not so refined, and, and for years we've been planning to deliver a closed loop spindle control firmware update. That uh, update is ready and delivered, and it's going to all ghost gunners that are already in the field. But when we began working in earnest with that firmware update and doing the kind of steel work that people wanted us to do, like the applications we'll show you today, we realized there were mechanical improvements we could make as well and some cosmetic improvements. And so every ghost gunner kind of is upgraded along with that, uh, with that firmware mechanically. And we call it the Ghost Gunner 3S. If I have a Ghost Gunner 3, how's the 3S different? Is this an upgrade kit for me or am I buying a new machine? Yeah, there's an upgrade pathway if you just absolutely insist on having exactly what you need. We're telling you, you only need the firmware upgrade to do the work that we're going to show you today. Uh, but if you're thinking of being, you know, going in business or pushing the applications like in 0% or 80% that we already have for you, pushing those applications harder and faster, seeing what else you can do, we would recommend the upgrade. And so that'll, that'll, be, that'll debut at the same time. Um, we're debuting at the end of this month. This is October. I don't know when people will see this. Sure. But, I mean, hopefully soon. Uh, but, uh, probably by the end sure. of the month. So but, it's, uh, it's two-track. You can upgrade if you want. We're not necessarily recommending that upgrade. Uh, but we're saying like what we've learned and what we've seen, we've now pushed the outer limits of what the Ghost Gunner can do. And we want to accommodate uh, that in the firmware and now in the mechanicals. Absolute smooth brain. Yeah. So that's who you're talking to right Okay. Here. In my mind, what you're saying to me is that if I have a GG3 already, yeah. all I need to do is upgrade the software and I can do everything that the 3S does. But if I want to optimize it, mm -hmm. um, I get the hardware a hardware package too. Do, am I understanding that? Yeah, what, what I'm saying is like um, we're delivering the real upgrade in the software. So the spindle can now hold, you know, like a full power at, at every RPM. Okay, this is something every Ghost Hunter can do and it's the changes in the software. It's, it's baked in there uh, in the firmware. But let's say that you want to you want to really push or you want to really uh, I'm, I'm, we're delivering four times more rigidity, for example, in the machine. All right. So if, if you want to find the outer limits of what you can do in steel beyond what we've done, because we always develop this machine and push it to the public uh, as something kind of experimental, something that we want people to take it off road, see what they can do with it. We've just, we've just known for so many years that the firmware was a limitation of what we could do in the machine. Once we found that that limitation was no longer there with the firmware, we've pushed to, to the actual mechanical limits of the machine and we want to address those uh, going forward. So everybody who's already waiting for a Ghost Gunner 3 and, and has already been in line just gets the S. Um, so we're, I guess we're re-standardizing with this new envelope of capability. Obviously, I'm getting the 3S, I'm getting a firmware upgrade. Mm -hmm. Is there any difference with the hardware? Because in my mind, I'm like, dude, you know, steel, that, that's, that's pretty rough stuff. You know, like ferrous metals, you're talking about... It is, it is rough stuff, yeah. But like, the, like, at what point do we get liquid cooling? Whatever? I'm, I don't want to get too far yeah, afield, yeah. but is there a hardware difference between the 3 and the 3S Yeah, there's, there's a hardware difference. We can indicate what the hardware differences are today when, yeah, once yeah. we get in there. There's a, uh, there's a brace under our X-plate, for example. There's some other cosmetic changes we've made internally. And because steel uh, chip accumulation is somewhat different, like behaves differently than aluminum, uh, there's some other internal channeling, basically changes that we've done. Nothing's so substantial other than that brace delivering that extra rigidity uh, because the spindle change itself, like let's say you have 17 times more power at 5,000 RPM, that software all, that, that change all happened in firmware. And so you, it's nothing that you can notice, um, but the most substantial changes, like I'm saying, are these kind of uh, these programming, these, these firmware changes. Don't show me just yet. Yeah. Tell me and us. Yeah. What can I do with a 3S? Like, what can yeah. I do? What are my possibilities? Uh, S is for steel. So we're going to show you RMR cutting today on, on Glock slides. And I can gonna, do an RMR cutting. You're, you're doing RMR all day long. You are the custom shop now. And I, I so long to show you dovetail cutting, 
uh, cutting for, for plates. I long to be shown. All right, and the, all the mounting standards that you've come to know and love, don't send it off uh, you know, to a Glock store for 10 days. You know, you are the Glock store now, and that's what we, we really want to show people. That's really cool. So uh, slide cuts, RMR cuts. What about zero percents? Yeah, like, yeah. Like what if I want to stick a block of either aluminum or steel yeah. in here, and I want to just make an entire slide and receiver? This is what we have in mind. And you, you mentioned cooling, right? Like uh, for an air-cooled machine, like uh, with closed-loop spindle control, like we, we hope that this is the ensemble, uh, the longest-lived package for doing experimenting in all these directions, zero percent. I don't necessarily want to show you what our new developments in 0% are for steel, but let's just say we've got one, okay? Today I want to show you this new platform, a commercial application that debuts at the end of the month, our, our RMR suite with our fixturing, and I want to indicate some other, some other future things that we're doing in software, some soft job things that we're doing. Really, like, I think there's a whole suite uh, of slide cutting and other stuff that, that we can do and that we'll be doing for the customer for a long time to come, and we want to also invite a lot of the people doing this type of custom work to help us and help develop this library of, of techniques with us, because it's big, it's deep. Uh, and so we want to give it its own day today. Last time we met, we've talked about the 0% receiver. And uh, just because they said it couldn't be done, we wanted to demo thread milling in the, uh, what we call the 0% buffer ring, uh, which is in its own right a very interesting development, and I think worth showing you just a bit. We kind of split the AR into these three major components. Just to demo, look, we thought the government was going to ban 80s, right? I mean, but unfortunately, it's not a real government, it doesn't have real regulations, and so 80s survive, but so, though this is mere trivia, we just wanted to show another piece of the 0% puzzle and how it's made today. Uh, this is the thread milling of a 0% buffer ring. I mean, our software essentially does walk you through the process of going from a block of metal to the finished thing, because it had to, the regs say so, you know, or we thought, but that's multiple operations, and that's things that, like, you know, I could, I could describe each of those operations to you, but DD cut and the DD file that we, that we give you, they do it for you, and they ask you to only intercede uh, where you need to change the part or change the tool. Um, so these multiple operations, though they take a couple hours, uh, essentially start from stock, raw stock, like we'll show you here today with the buffer tower. Um, this is the R of 0%, and we hope that this will extend to many components over many years. Uh, we just are demoing uh, with the, the AR receiver first and foremost. Uh, look, to do 0% work on the, on the Ghost Gunner platform, we ask that you have a Ghost Gunner machine, at least a Ghost Gunner 3, uh, that you connect to a laptop or a device that can run DD Cut. DD Cut is the star of the show, so if you run a 0% project file, you say, hey, start, mill, I'm, I'm going to mill, are you sure? Yes, all right, the work is happening. You're coming in only when DD Cut uh, asks you to change a part, change the tooling. Um, it's all being handled for you by our software, DD Cut. Uh, look, so we broke the AR receiver into three parts. All right? what you, all, the only part you really have to make in 0% uh, is that core component. Um, that takes a handful of hours to do, uh, but that's all you have to do because the other parts aren't regulated, like the buffer tower ring or the, what we call the lower, lower. <laughs> so you can make the rest of those parts yourself and multiply the many hours that that, that, that may take, and that may be fun for you to do. But 0% work in AR is only a handful of hours and only really one component from one piece of metal. But then I'm assembling three, uh, the upper, upper, yeah. the upper, the, the upper lower, <laughs> the lower lower, yeah. and then the, the thread. This is, the, this concept of upper lowers and lower lowers, this is in our debut, AR0. Of course, uh, GGD, for example, makes a, a fixture for what they call the AR universal fixture for the Ghost Gunner. There's ways to do 0% Ghost Gunner and 15 operations from one solid piece of metal. If you're an absolute purist, we support that. We've shown it. We sell it. People all over the country do it now. They make 0% receivers. And we thought, I mean, we, we built it because we thought, hey, they're going to ban the AR 80% receiver. You know, in January of 22, I mean, we really thought they were going to do it. So we were trying to make a full replacement for that in metal. Uh, I believe we did it. I believe we made it commercial. Uh, it's just a bonus, though, because we, don't, we didn't have to do it. The AR 80% receiver survives, which is an important piece of trivia, because you may have heard of, in the media, the death of the ghost guns. Uh, fake news. But honestly, I feel like I'm spending too much time on this incidental demo because I want to show you so much of the RMR shit. This is our basic RMR setup. Okay, you'll see a Glock slide in a parallel in our universal clamps. Um, so we've already probed and we're going to show you what, it, what it's like, what it looks like in real time uh, to do RMR in the Ghost Gunner. RMR is, of course, a major standard. Uh, we hope to elaborate a whole library of the major standards. RMS comes to mind, Doctor, Noblex, these things are basically what can be programmed and, and to look up tables and, and you can imagine a scenario where instead of sending off to a custom shop, you're 
selecting through a series of menus, hey, this is my slide, this is the mounting standard I want. Okay, I'm doing RMR, do I want a dovetail? Uh, do I want it in front? Do I want it in back? I'm thinking co-witness, all right, or do I want um, uh, something deeper in my complexity? Like all of this is handled in menus and then the complexity is taken away from you and, and delivered by DD Cut. So we think this is a real solution and something that's not uh, even perfect for Americans, but even people uh, in Europe and Canada. So we've just finished our first RMR cut for public demonstration on a, on a Glock slide. I'd like to show you a number of those features that we've milled in. It's probably unexpected, but I'd like to say this or show you this while I have it. So you're seeing our RMR footprint here. This is according to the mounting standard. All right, we've also milled the posts and we've threaded those posts as well. So this is as good as anything you can get uh, at a custom shop that you would send off. Now you're doing it at home. Like as we've been saying inside our, our offices, you are the custom shop now. Uh, these are subtle and sophisticated things that perhaps uh, you could not do at home until now. What's the price difference between the GG3 and the 3S? Uh, GG3S is the same price as GG3. It's $2,500. We've been able to basically manipulate the bomb. It's, it's virtually the same. There's still inflation. There's other things, but uh, we don't think we've justified a price increase just yet. The upgrade. Yeah. Mechanical and firmware. Can I perform either of them myself? That's right. The, the firmware upgrade is an at-home upgrade. Everything downloads, it updates, should be seamless, should be painless. We recommend you do it at home. There's no need to send it in. Does that cost me anything? That will cost you nothing. Free okay, upgrade. It will happen. You know, it'll almost tell you that it's ready to go, depending upon if you're connected to the internet right. or not, which, you know, it's right. up to yeah, you. Get it. Yeah, sure. But the mechanical upgrade, that'll be like normal, um, or like a, the usual upgrade path that we have in our generations of machines. For Ghost Gunner 2, for example, there were two different periods of upgrades. So we'll ask you to send it in. Like an RMA, there'll be some manual labor and, and parts replacement fees for putting everything in. So it'll still be like a few hundred dollars, most likely, to, to do a 3S upgrade if you insist on the, the mechanical upgrade at our facility. Give me some sample times. Like if I want to cut, let's say, an AR receiver from yeah. a block of aluminum, or if I want to do an RMR cut, or if I want to do yeah. like basic slide serrations, what are those times? Three to three S. You know, we've we've clocked in the AR fifteen at thirty five minutes. We say for the pocket and things like that. Like, but I'm, you're talking about like the eighty percent, not like a block of aluminum. Exactly. Yeah. So so many of these things are, are are so new that we don't necessarily have official times that we recommend to the public. Like, oh, this is this is where you're going. I'm not going to tell you an AR is twice as fast now. I'm interested to know who can make it twice as fast with this upgrade. Sure. So much of our work in the last three months has been with steel, with slides, and with you know, a conversation that we're not ready to quite have today, sure. but may have in time for SHOT Show. So I, I'm not sure what these new benchmarks are. It will be interesting to learn that. And that's I mean, why this I'm, is so new that, that we have. I mean, you got on the phone with me right when you yeah. guys developed this. I'm basically showing you, this like, up. this is our first commercial package. I want to show you what we've got. I can tell you all about the timing here. You know, this is going to be about 45 minutes on a, on a Glock slide, for example. It's, you know, could it be pushed harder? Yeah, probably. But we're, we're actually want to show lower RPMs and the, and the torque value that's been created from this new closed loop spindle control. So though I'm talking about speed and I'm talking about, you know, strength and, and rigidity, we actually want to show you the, the finer art of steel work uh, with lower RPMs and the, and the torque that we have with the new GG3S. Well, Cody, I've got to say thanks a ton, as usual, for being on the yeah. program. Really, it's an honor that, that you actually come on to TFB TV, awesome. share this with us, share this with our viewers. I know that they all love it. I certainly love it. Can't wait to see what, I mean, you've already unlocked so much potential, but it's going to be really exciting to see what the future holds. For Ghost Gunner, any hints? It's a conversation we've had before and that I hope to continue in, in grand style very soon. Vague and mysterious answer. I love it. That's what I expect from Cody Wilson himself. Guys, stay tuned. We're going to be bringing you more TFP TV.